But there's one set of problems you just can't hide. You can keep your lips sealed, but if you don't confront your dental problems, you could be fighting tooth and nail to save your smile, with high dental bills leaving a very bitter taste in your mouth. 27-year-old Lynn decided it was time to stop hiding away and face up to her mouthful of decaying teeth. I would just like to see um, if there's anything you can do for my teeth. Um, the lack of teeth that's in my mouth, the colour of them, and I have a really, really bad one up here at the back. It keeps getting abscesses reoccurring. And why do you think the teeth have got into this condition? I think it's with drinking up to 12 cans of fizzy drink per day. Really? Why so much? You name it, anything sweet. I had to have it. You got a sweet tea? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Lynn had an addiction to fizzy drinks which had already taken 12 of her teeth and was starting to work away at the rest. You know as well as I do that some of those teeth are to the point where keeping them is not really going to be in your best interests. And really what I'm trying to propose is that your final cosmetic outcome could be something like this. That's just what my teeth used to look like before. I feel quite angry actually with myself for letting my teeth get to that stage in the first place. The thing that makes fizzy drinks so bad for teeth is acid. The standard test for acidity is litmus paper and this sheet puts Lynn's drink at pH 4, nearly halfway between tap water and battery acid. And just look at what these acids do to a tooth over just one week. The weakened roots have been stained permanently red. If you are going to drink fizzy drinks, there's a few things you can do to limit their damaging effects. Try and drink through a straw. Don't brush your teeth immediately after you've had fizzy drinks because you can actually then brush away some of the weakened enamel. And most importantly, never drink fizzy drinks just before you go to bed. Back at home, Lynn was taking positive steps for her and her family, hoping that a regime of milk and water would save her children from the same fate. James, down in London, showed Mum a picture of what my teeth will look like when they're all finished, when he's done all the work. Most importantly, there's going to be teeth instead of all the missing teeth that Mum's got. They look like a circus freak teeth, rotten to the core. They look like witches' teeth and they're just ugly. Mum, yeah. when your teeth get fixed, mm -hmm. um, will you be able to take me swimming and everything? Yeah. Yes. I like going swimming. Yeah, I know. It'd be no problem. Great. Yeah. Great. Five days later, Lynn came back to London. She was given a CT scan to see how a replacement set of teeth might fit into her mouth. Well, this is you. Wow. Okay. I never saw myself like that before. It's amazing. Strange. Very strange, but amazing. Once the scan was analysed, Dr James had to decide whether she should have temporary dentures or implants. But just before that, there was one messy job which needed to be done first. What we're going to try and do today is take out all your teeth that we really can't save. So where you've got these little bits of root, we're just going to pop those out for you. Does that sound alright? Excellent. Have a seat and we'll get going. And just nice and open there for me, Lynn. A little bit of pushing, OK. Mm -hmm. OK, almost there. First one's out, OK. Lynn decided that she would prefer to replace her old stumps with implants, but before Dr James would agree to that, she had to kick another bad habit. There's one other thing which hampers the body's ability to heal more than virtually anything else, and that is smoking. So the best thing you can possibly do is stop. Um, the implants, it's even more important that you don't smoke. And in actual fact, the success rate when we're normally doing implants is about 99.8%, which is, you know, virtually guaranteed in healthy people. But if you're smoking, it goes down to almost below 50%, so it's a huge chance to the state where really we just don't do implants if people are smoking. So. It's deal time. Are you definitely going to stop smoking? Absolutely, yeah. Excellent. Catch up with Lynn later to find out if she finally has the teeth she's been missing. Earlier, Lynn from Aberdeen came to see Dr James about the state of her terrible teeth. She agreed to quit her nicotine addiction so she could have new porcelain implants. But giving up can be the hardest thing to do. It's really not easy um, stopping smoking at all. I bought a 
fake cigarette um, and I've been puffing on that so that's really really helped but I've actually not had a cigarette for six days. After five long sessions in the dentist chair, the day she had been dreaming of arrived. One minute I'm really, really excited and the next minute I feel so I'm going to burst into tears. Um, just nerves I think it is, but I keep thinking of the end result and then that's getting me through. Implantologist Zaki Kanan examined Lynn's CT scan and worked out exactly where the titanium screws which would hold the new teeth in place would go. So it was out with the remaining teeth. Because we're putting implants in these areas, we've got to damage the bone underneath as little as possible, so it's very sort of gentle movements. Then the tricky bit, drilling into the bone without damaging any of Lynn's nerves. And then to screw in the implants. You'll be pleased to know this is the last one. His final job was to sew it all up. In the lab, a technician was making the finished product. Lynn's new porcelain teeth were ready. And finally, Dr. James attached her new set of teeth. Might just feel a little bit of pressure as it first goes in, okay. You ready? There's the mirror, just give us a big grin. Happy. Lynn was happy that she finally had her teeth back, but find out later how it's changed her life. Thank you so much. After six sessions in the dentist chair, Lynn got the results she was longing for. Thank you. You're happy. Okay. Okay. It's now one year since her treatment, and she's back to see Dr. James. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. So you're looking really, really well. How are you finding everything with your new teeth? Um, much better than. I even could imagine, to tell you the truth, it's just all changed, everything's brilliant. Yes, well, we can't say fairer than that. We can obviously, I'm, I'm over the moon that this made such a big difference for you, but let's have a look, see what it looks like in the mouth, just make sure that everything's healthy, and, yeah, put the chair back, see what we've got. So, yes, exactly what I want to see. I mean, where we took some of the teeth out, obviously the gums have shrunk back a little bit, so that's something that we're going to need to look at in the future. But the most important thing is that the implants and the attachment of the implants looks exactly as I want it and the mouth's looking healthy, it's, you know, that's really good news. Okay, yeah, I'm delighted. I'm going to pop me back up there now. So, Lynn, I've had a look in the mouth, it looks fantastic, basically. Everything is exactly as I want it to be. It's looking healthy, you're taking good care of it. The implants look good, the gum around the denture and the implants looks good, so you're doing everything that you could be asked to do and overall it's a, it's a winner I'm really really pleased it's great thanks thank Chris. you cheers and I'll see you soon take care bye the transformation in Lynn is is obviously outstanding it's hugely rewarding to see what she's looking like and what a difference it's made to herself psychologically from a dental point of view she's doing a great job she's she's a perfect example of what you can do if you put your mind to it after years of hiding her teeth away, Lynn has now got a reason to smile again. When I look back on it, it's amazing how far that I've actually come. Her life is finally back on track. Or sometimes I didn't even wash my face before going out. I just thought, what is the point, like, having makeup on? Because I just thought it, was, it looked so ridiculous with the teeth. But now I've got, like, a lip gloss in every single colour. My daughter's always, you're putting on makeup again. you wanting to put on some makeup, so just... Normal, just it's, it feels great. Come on, then let's go. Come on. I was actually embarrassed walking about with my children, picking them up from school in case they got picked on. But now I just have the confidence to walk down the street with them. Lynn is determined to take care of her new teeth. <gasps> the main thing that I'm proud of than anything is the fizzy drinks because I drink water instead. I used to absolutely hate the taste of water. I used to have to have cans of fizzy drink in the fridge constantly. There was, through the night, my bedside, instead of water, it was fizzy drink. Um, but now it's just water, so no cola. I just feel 
as though I can do anything, you know, I just feel so free. It's unbelievable, all that down to a set of teeth. I mean, it's quite mad really, but it's just amazing.